হ্যালো ভিউয়ার্স আসসালামু আলাইকুম ওয়েলকাম টু মাই ইউটিউব চ্যানেল লার্ন ওরাকল টুডে উই আর গোয়িং টু শো ইউ ওয়ান থিংস দ্যাট ওয়ান অফ মাই সাবস্ক্রাইবার আস্ক মি টু হাউ টু বিউটিফাই আওয়ার লগ ইন পেজ ওকে ওরাকল অ্যাপেক্স অ্যাপ্লিকেশান লগ ইন পেজ দ্যাটস ওয়াই আই এম হিয়ার টু শো ইউ হাউ ক্যান উই ওকে সো আই অলরেডি ক্রিয়েট এ নোটপ্যাড ফাইল হিয়ার উই উইল ফলো দিস স্টেপ অর ইউ ক্যান ডিরেক্টলি গো টু মাই um blogger page here i already uh, created uh, these types of post uh, because of uh, i want to show you uh, how we can create a beautiful login page okay so first of all uh, you have to do you have to go your for a collapse workspace first then after workspace login you are going to here so i am going to uh, here i mention uh, two things that i can create a login page uh, or modify my existing login page into my application okay so though uh, i already have a uh, login page in my application and i already modified that things that's why i would like to create a new application or if you wish you can see this one too so which one is better for you i don't uh, i don't know so uh, i'm going to create new application um suppose uh, this sample application sample app and uh, when i hit create button the new application will uh, appear with a sample login page okay or you can create uh, a custom login page uh, for your existing application uh, by deleting the previous one and create this two from here okay so i am uh, just uh, put it a new one uh, so page number suppose i put 101 then sample application login username and password i am given here and uh, just create okay now i run this page so this is the sample application login and there is no beautification around right here and there okay so now i am uh, going to uh, s go our script uh, here is the script uh, two links are available here you can uh, you you can directly go to my facebook uh, page uh, here i also create a post that you can find that uh, text here also i will add that to in my video description also and uh, i created a beautiful post here also th uh, using the same uh, instruction okay so uh, first i am going to uh, create a login page that i already created right you can see um the login page is created so now i am going to edit this login page for beautification okay so uh, first you have to um click on the uh, top top level or uh, the page level uh, you can see that uh, here is the appearance tab under appearance tabs here you can find a template option okay you can click here uh, then uh, you can see page layout floating you can change it to split okay, okay. when you hit on okay button and save it uh, you can run the page and uh, then you can see the page uh, login portion are already in uh, left side of the page okay so now i am going to beautify these things okay so for beautification um, i have to do three things first of all i have to go to the um, prefig.com or um, a, an another free site uh, that provides some free images so i am going to prefig.com first uh, to um, get the background uh, that we use here okay in here not here okay in this portion so i'm going to download that things from prefig.com so exactly uh, the page uh, that i designed um, already i'm uh, sorry to show you the preview and the apex uh, login page will be after completing this apex lo login page will be like this okay so i am going to collect this this image from here okay this image from there not here so i am click here um uh, i download this image from just uh, creating the download button okay i'm just um free download download the image so i am going to extract it and um after extraction i will uh, go to download again and uh, i saw the image is here okay now i am going to upload this uh, image into my workspace 
okay that instructions are already provided here so you can follow the instruction file for your steps okay now i am going to sample application and shared components then i am going to static application files okay then i am uh, going to upload this file okay create and uh, select root directory and uh, finally i am going to upload this file from downloads to from here to um, just create after creating this uh, i am going to rename these things uh, uh, as my application upload uh, javascript code okay so uh, i'm going to put this image name as capture and save changes you can see when you click on a static application profile then you can find capture.jpg here now now the step is um, i'm going to copy this uh, javascript code okay and um, i will explain this javascript code code to you no problem so i'm just copy these things and um, uh, going to login page again 101 not this one this one is default so i am going to click on this one and um, in page level uh, properties i am going to css inline tab okay i am inline tab and paste it here okay and i'm and now it's time to explain the things okay so first of one of css um, attribute this one is t page body login that means uh, the login page background okay so uh, i'm going to assign the background as capture.jpg that we already uploaded the file you see okay then uh, i am going to set my login page icon uh, this is the learn oracle icon that uh, this is my uh, login page icon so i can use that here and um, now the login region property if you wish you can change the login region that means uh, region property uh, from using this code and you can change the specific color also from here and you can change the bottom color also um, as you wish okay so you can use this property then you can uh, go into container body container body means the total body okay then uh, body color is what will be the body color okay so you can change it uh, to from here okay uh, we can change it uh, from here this one to this one and um, okay first of all i have to uh, show you the preview you can see uh, preview is here so uh, now the you can change the css code then it will uh, suppose uh, you can see i use the transparent background here so if i if you if i wish uh, then i can use uh, another code or color code to change the preview of the background okay i mean i'm run it you can see just uh, login tab uh, background is already changed right so uh, we can modify these things uh, if you have little knowledge about css you can change that thing so for beautification purpose uh, i wish um, the transparent is uh, best for me transparent that's why i use transparent okay so i can uh, save it again and um, just okay then i can run it to see the output okay so this is uh, how we can design the uh, we can beautify the our login uh, page so uh, the more instructions are available here uh, with the screenshot if you face any difficulty you can uh, comment me in my video uh, or uh, you just uh, knock me in my facebook page also uh, for getting any solution and uh, uh, though this video is uh, made for uh, some of my uh, youtube viewer request uh, so you can also have the opportunity to request another then i hope i will uh, create another video for you so today after this uh, please subscribe my youtube channel for more updates uh, and uh, share the video towards your friends and family and like the video if you like this thank you so much see you later bye